welcome back to another episode. It is so great to see you and I hope you've had a good week. Well, we are continuing our series looking at the different characteristics of Jesus. And today we are looking at how Jesus came to be with us. Now this is perfect because today is actually the first Sunday of Advent, which means we are actually counting down to Christmas. It's that close. So we're going to be starting to look at the Christmas story because Christmas is when Jesus came to be with us. But before we get into the story properly, I thought we needed to have a quick check to see how much of the Christmas story you actually know. So here is a quiz for you about Christmas and let's see what you can remember before we start talking about it. Let's go.
questions right. Is that right? Well, don't worry, some of them were harder than others, but I hope that's helped you remember the Christmas story. Now we are looking at the, one of the very first parts of the Christmas story and uh, we're looking at the story of Joseph. Now I hope you remember who Joseph is now. That's right, Joseph was Jesus' earthly father. And we're going to be looking at the story of the angel visiting Joseph. So why don't you find your Bibles, turn to Matthew chapter 1 and let's read the story of Angel and Joseph. <laughs> This is how the birth of Jesus Christ came about. When his mother Mary was betrothed to Joseph, but before they lived together, she was found with child through the Holy Spirit. Joseph, her husband, since he was a righteous man, yet unwilling to expose her to shame, decided to divorce her quietly. Such was his intention when, behold, the angel of the Lord appeared to him in a dream and said, Joseph, son of David, do not be afraid to take Mary, your wife, into your home. For it is through the Holy Spirit that this child has been conceived in her. She will bear a son, and you are to name him Jesus, because he will save his people from their sins. All this took place to fulfill what the Lord had said through the prophet, Behold, the virgin shall conceive and bear a son, and they shall name him Emmanuel, which means God is with us. When Joseph awoke, he did as the angel of the Lord had commanded him, and took his wife into his home. That in Christmas plays and Christmas movies about the nativity or anything to do with the Christmas story, Joseph sometimes gets forgotten. He's always that man that helps Mary out, who gets them to Bethlehem, who maybe finds them the place to stay. But this story focuses on Joseph because Joseph is an important person. He was chosen to be Jesus's earthly father. Now, different Gospels in the Bibles, so Matthew, Mark, Luke and John, will focus on slightly different things about Jesus' life. So, for example, Luke really focuses on the story of Mary and all about how Mary becomes the mother of Jesus. But Matthew, well, he focuses on Joseph and his family. So at the very beginning of Matthew chapter 1, you get this really long list of Jesus's earthly family going all the way back to Abraham. Now if you have been watching for a few weeks you might remember that we did the family tree of the Bible. This same family is what links all of the people in the Bible all the way up to Jesus. Isn't that crazy? And Matthew focuses on that because he wants to say that Jesus was fully human. He had a family tree just like we do. But he wasn't just human, was he? And that's what the angel had to come and explain to Joseph. So let's just spend a minute really quickly just looking at the story of Joseph and kind of understanding what he went through and why he needed an angel to come and visit him. Now I'm sure you know, but Mary and Joseph were engaged to be married, weren't they? But before they could get married, Mary is told that she's going to have a baby. She becomes pregnant. Now, in these days of Mary and Joseph's life, it was a really, really big deal to get pregnant before being married. And in fact, they could get into serious trouble. So Joseph wanted to do what was best for Mary, and that was to just quietly say that they weren't going to get married and they would kind of go their separate ways. But this is not the story that God wanted. So he sent an angel to come and speak to Joseph and basically tell him that it was okay, that this was not Mary being bad. This was God's plan. Because when Jesus comes, he changes everything. When Jesus came, even as an unborn baby in Mary's belly, it changed everything. It changed Joseph's life. So the angel explains to Joseph that this baby is going to be the saviour of the world and that they should call him Jesus, the one who saves. Jesus comes and everything changes. Now one of the best parts of this story is the reaction that Joseph has to the news. Because it is big news! It's not like you find out a baby is going to be born by God every day of the week. But Joseph's reaction straight away 
was to believe what the angel said. And he married Mary and he raised Jesus as his son. Now, that is a really big thing to ask of just one man. But God knew that through Mary and through Joseph, Jesus was going to be able to come into the world and change everything. See, the really cool thing is that even though we don't have Jesus come into the world as a baby every Christmas, we can remember that story that Jesus came to be with us. The story of Christmas is when Jesus chose to become a human, to come down and start his rescue plan, to start a way of being able to get us back to being right with God. So what about you? Now I said that when Jesus comes, everything changes. And that is true for us today because when Jesus comes into our lives, everything changes. We want to do better. We want to be more like him and we want to have a relationship with God. So here's my question. Has Jesus come to you? Has he changed your life? And if he hasn't, well, why don't you speak to a grown up about how he can? How can Jesus come into your life and change it? And what that means when you say yes to Jesus. And you're welcome to send me an email or a message to chat through it as well. Because Jesus wants to come to each and every one of us. And the story of Christmas, well, that's just an amazing reminder that Jesus came for all of us. So next week, we'll be continuing the Christmas story. We'll be looking at different parts of the story and finding out what that means for us today. But a few weeks ago, I did say that we were going to have a Christmas competition. So this is what you have to do. I would like you to create a nativity scene. So you know that scene where you see on lots of Christmas cards of baby Jesus in the manger and his mum and his dad and maybe the shepherds and the wise men and the angels and the star? That sort of picture, I want you to create one. And the way you do this is completely up to you. You could paint or draw it. You could make a 3D model. You could even get your family members together and you could act it out and video it. However you like, I want you to create a nativity scene. And once you have done your amazing creations, just send it to me at my email and I will be giving out prizes. Now it is Christmas, so the prizes will be even better. But I'm not going to tell you anything more about that until a bit later on. Sneak peeks coming next week. And I can't believe that it is December in just a few days time. I'm a little bit in shock. I hope you're getting your Christmas presents all sorted. Well, through the countdown to Christmas starting on December 1st, there is an option to have some Advent resources sent to you every day to an email address. So if you would like that to come to you, make sure your grown up has sent me an email and I will make sure that they get them. These will just be different activities to help you remember the Christmas story or some crafts to do. And in general, just remember the true meaning of Christmas. So Advent countdown coming at you from December 1st, but do get in touch if I don't have your email. Well, that's it for me today. I hope you've had some fun. I will see you again next Sunday where we look more at the Christmas story. See you then. Bye.